with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Yeah, I think it's going to be raining for the parade, but if we can avoid thunderstorms, that the lightning out there, I think that will be a good thing, of course. Uh, but the other thing, it's going to be warm during the parade, so it won't be a cold rain. So overall, hope that helps a little bit for your planning. Uh, the Breeze Camera Network here at the Parkway, it's 54 degrees, it's cloudy. We will have rain by sunrise tomorrow morning in the form of scattered showers. And there's going to be space between these showers as they develop and track from west to east. And temperatures staying a little above normal in the 60s and the wind will be fairly light about south at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now as we go to the weekend that all starts changing. Saturday morning actually may start off dry in some areas but by the afternoon it is going to start raining and it won't stop until Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon we're going to get a break. We got this first alert out for Sunday night but we may have to move that to Monday because the overall storm system is showing signs of slowing down but that allows more opportunity for instability to develop farther to the north, so we're going to have to keep a close eye on that. And also the storm system could get a little bit stronger. So these are the impacts here Saturday and Sunday. The red here, heavy rain will be a high impact. Could have flooding early Sunday morning and then more flooding early Monday morning. So we're probably going to be changing this banner to red here for Monday as well. Uh, the threat for strong to severe storms primarily along the Gulf Coast Sunday into Monday. However, we're going to watch that instability. If it gets far enough here, we could see some wind gusts 40, 45 miles per hour and with saturated soils out here, one of those kind of wind gusts could actually knock over a few trees. So we're not looking at a widespread threat of severe weather, but we are watching it for you and that's why we've got that first alert out. Five o'clock tomorrow morning, isolated showers from Moulton to the south towards uh, Smith Lake. Those will continue to move to the east and the whole idea here is spacing between these showers. So we may have a 30 minute shower come through and it may not rain for another two hours there. So you can keep tabs on our 48 first alert weather app and overall it's the model guidance tonight showing a little bit less rain at least coverage uh, wise but there will be showers out there no doubt about it we continue to see a break for your friday evening plans and notice it's going to be comfortable we will be in the 60s and we're probably going to stay in the 60s all night it's going to be a muggy night and here come the showers six o'clock in the morning saturday moving into the northwest corner of the state uh, probably into florence by 7 a.m and this will continue to move east wouldn't be surprised if this involved some lightning and thunder as well as we get to nine o'clock more showers and then it just starts raining everywhere as we get into the afternoon hours locally heavy rain here's some of the heaviest rain here at four o'clock showing a calm wind so it's going to be awfully humid out there i imagine we're going to have some fog and poor visibility throughout the afternoon and it's just relentless it rains all night into sunday morning here's a snapshot of sunday morning with a bigger view in case you're traveling by six o'clock sunday morning still looking at heavy rain, but here comes our break. So if you're going to be grilling for the Super Bowl, uh, like Carl Prather, he's going to have some big plans for the Super Bowl. You want to get that done probably before kickoff because by 830 the rain starts coming back and Carl, what's that kickoff? Is it five o'clock? 530, sir. 530. So yes, sir. going to be able to time it out OK. And then here comes the shower and thunderstorm activity into Monday morning. And when it's all said and done, perhaps four inches of rain in some areas. But hey, it settles down just in time for Valentine's Day, and it's going to turn out just the way it should. Uh, temperatures in the low 50s, some frost in the morning next week, some sunshine too, and we will dry out.